In the annals of television history, the Phil Silvers show stands as an enduring symbol of the industry's timeless appeal. What makes this TV series a lasting icon, a stalwart representative of its era and beyond? The answer lies in its unique blend of humor, wit, and sharp storytelling that transcends the temporal boundaries of its 1950s origins. Embarking on a journey through the corridors of a U.S. Army post, the show masterfully captures the comedic escapades of Sergeant Bilko, played by the eponymous Phil Silvers. The effortless charisma of Silvers, coupled with the witty writing, creates a comedic landscape that has proven to be ageless. The Phil Silvers show not only reflects the spirit of its time but resonates across generations, prompting us to ponder the enduring qualities that render it an everlasting symbol. As we delve into the random facts about the show, it's fascinating to note that the Phil Silvers show not only garnered critical acclaim but also clinched three consecutive primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series. Such accolades are a testament to its indelible impact on the television landscape. Now, consider this. What cherished memory or personal experience do you associate with the Phil Silvers show? We're eager to hear your stories and reflections. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate the timeless appeal of this iconic TV series. So, whether you find yourself reminiscing about the antics of Sergeant Bilko, or marveling at the comedic brilliance that transcends generations, the Phil Silvers show remains an everlasting symbol of television's enduring charm. The Phil Silvers Show, an iconic television series from the mid-20th century, emerged as a beloved classic that left an indelible mark on American entertainment. Originally titled Y'all Never Get Rich, the show premiered in the year of Elvis Presley's first studio recording, and quickly became a staple in the homes of viewers across the nation. Phil Silvers, portraying the scheming Sergeant Bilko, effortlessly brought the character to life with his impeccable comedic timing and sharp wit. The show's narrative centered around the exploits of Bilko as he navigated the humorous ins and outs of military life at Fort Baxter. What set the Phil Silvers show apart was its unique style of situational comedy, showcasing Bilko's relentless pursuit of personal gain within the confines of military discipline. The ensemble cast, featuring memorable characters like Corporal Rocco Barbella and Private Doberman, complemented Silver's comedic genius, creating a dynamic and entertaining ensemble. The camaraderie among the characters, coupled with Bilko's never-ending schemes, provided audiences with a delightful blend of laughter and satire. Beyond its immediate success, the Phil Silvers show left an enduring legacy in popular culture. Silver's portrayal of Sergeant Bilko became synonymous with clever mischief and remains a touchstone for subsequent generations of comedians and writers. The series' impact extended far beyond its original broadcast, influencing the trajectory of television comedy and inspiring future shows that drew upon its formula for success. In summary, The Phil Silvers Show stands as a timeless testament to the brilliance of its eponymous star and the enduring appeal of its comedic narrative. The legacy of Sergeant Bilko continues to resonate, reminding audiences that, in the realm of television, laughter is indeed a timeless currency. Filmed initially in New York City against the backdrop of Nat Hiken's insistence, the first three seasons of the iconic TV series showcased the unique dynamics of Sergeant Bilko's shenanigans at Fort Baxter. The show's production later shifted to Los Angeles, California, after Hiken's departure, marking a notable change in its filming location. Adding a touch of authenticity, the U.S. Army serial number, Raw 15,042,699, displayed for Sergeant Bilko in the opening credits adheres to the correct numbering protocol of the period. This fictitious detail cleverly hints that Bilko enlisted rather than being drafted, with his original enlistment processed by the service command covering Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, and West Virginia. Amidst the comedic interplay, Paul Ford's occasional forgetfulness of lines provided a unique dynamic on set. This quirk allowed Phil Silvers to improvise during scenes between Sergeant Bilko and Colonel Hall. While both actors maintained character, it was often their co-stars who found themselves laughing, unintentionally adding an extra layer of humor to the show. These behind-the-scenes nuances contribute to the charm of the Phil Silvers show, giving viewers a peek into the creative process that fueled the on-screen hilarity. The series, with its New York origins, Bilko's fictitious military history, 
and the spontaneous interplay among actors continues to stand as a testament to the enduring appeal of classic television comedy. Phil Silvers felt blindsided by the show's abrupt cancellation. Despite its strong ratings, CBS axed it to sell reruns, an uncommon move then. The decision hit Silvers hard. He wanted to retire on his terms. The series' cancellation upset him deeply, yet owning half of it eased the blow financially. Interestingly, the unaired pilot Y'all Never Get Rich surfaced later, offering a different cast lineup. But the aired pilot, renamed The New Recruits, introduced Alan Melvin, who stuck with the series till the end. This pivotal event marked a sudden end to a beloved series, leaving its creator in dismay but with a consolation and financial gain for his family. It's fascinating to see how behind-the-scenes decisions shaped the fate of an iconic show. The Phil Silvers Show, a 1955 TV series, underwent a notable shift in filming technique during its run. Originally shot like a play, with the cast memorizing entire scripts for sequential, one-take scenes in front of a live audience, it later transformed at the insistence of guest star Mike Todd. Todd preferred a movie-style production out of sequence, multiple takes, sans audience deeming it faster, cheaper, and less demanding. This change resonated with both the crew and lead Phil Silvers, prompting a switch to this new method. Additionally, episodes were screened for military audiences, their reactions recorded and integrated into the show. This shift in production not only streamlined the process, but also connected the series directly to the responses of its military viewers. Originally named Yowl Never Get Rich, the show had its roots in a World War I marching song a nod to military life. The title change to the Phil Silvers show or Sergeant Bilko marked its iconic status today. Behind the scenes, tensions simmered between Phil Silvers and Morris Gosfield, who played Doberman. Gosfield's on-set challenges, embodying his character's slovenly nature and line struggles, contrasted with his immense popularity. Surprisingly, despite Silvers' lead role, Gosfield received more fan mail, causing resentment. Meanwhile, George Kennedy, an ex-U.S. Army member, served as a technical advisor and debuted on screen. His role as MP, Sergeant Kennedy marked the start of his acting career. These backstage dynamics and the show's original title shed light on the complexities beyond the on-screen humor. As we bid adieu to our journey through the nostalgic lanes of a certain classic television series from the mid-20th century, we're reminded of the indelible imprint it left on the canvas of entertainment history. Its charm transcends time, beckoning us to delve into our personal trove of recollections. Perhaps it's the magnetic wit of its characters or the contagious laughter echoing through each episode that lingers in the corridors of your memory. Maybe it's the camaraderie, the humor, or the timeless lessons subtly woven into its fabric that resonate with you. Whatever it is that tugs at your heartstrings when thinking about this beloved show, your reflections serve as testament to its enduring appeal. Your thoughts, anecdotes, or fond remembrances carry the essence of what made this series an integral part of television's golden era. So, dear reader, take a moment to indulge in nostalgia's embrace. Share your treasured moments, your musings, and your feelings evoked by this timeless gem. Your stories add depth to the legacy of this remarkable show, weaving a tapestry of shared experiences that bridge generations. Thank you for allowing this journey down memory lane and for sharing your thoughts with us. Your connection to this show enriches the collective nostalgia we hold dear.